we're now looking at uh, the left side of the open uh, chest and dissected the mediastinum. So let's identify first uh, structures that we have seen uh, on the other side, similar structures on the other side. We have uh, the phrenic nerve right here, left phrenic nerve. We have uh, the left dome of uh, the diaphragm, pulmonary trunk. We have the ascending aorta right there, leading to uh, the aortic arch. And then this one now is the uh, descending uh, thoracic aorta. Or the thoracic aorta. We have the uh, left main stem bronchial tube and uh, its branches, uh, the bronchi. This one is the uh, pulmonary uh, vein, no? draining uh, from uh, the left lung going to uh, the left atrium. Oracle of uh, the left atrium the left atrium right there so that <coughs> excuse me this one is uh, part of uh, the pericardial sac now let's now try to identify uh, structures no, that uh, are uh, unique no, in, uh, on this side so we have uh, the anterior descending uh, branch of the left coronary artery right there. So, the left coronary artery would be that, uh, it would be more proximal to, to this. Uh, this is already the anterior uh, descending branch. Then right here, we have the uh, marginal marginal uh, branch of uh, the left coronary artery or the uh, obtuse branch. So this artery is uh, clinically significant when you have uh, infarction or obstruction uh, when you have obstruction to that artery there will be loss of blood supply to uh, the left ventricular uh, muscle here. We all know that uh, the left ventricle is uh, the most important chamber in the heart. If uh, the left ventricle fails, then expect uh, very uh, tragic sequeling. It can lead to uh, sudden death because the left ventricle is the chamber that supplies blood to a uh, large part of the body. This one is uh, the left uh, pulmonary artery. Then uh, let's try to look inside area of uh, the posterior chest wall you can see the uh, thoracic spinal nerves right there sympathetic trunk and then we have the uh, posterior intercostal uh, arteries you have the posterior intercostal arteries which uh, are uh, direct branches coming from the uh, thoracic aorta here The posterior intercostal arteries are shorter here on the left side compared to uh, the posterior intercostal arteries on the right side because uh, on the right, the arteries need to cross over uh, the midline, over the vertebral bone before reaching the uh, intercostal spaces on the right side. So... This uh, muscular organ right here, 
organ with muscular wall that's uh, the esophagus you can see its uh, nerve supply coming from uh, the vagus nerve left vagus nerve and then for the left vagus now you can see there is a branch right here it will hook below the aortic arch and ascend back up into the neck that is actually the uh, recurrent no? left recurrent laryngeal nerve and then this uh, ligamentous uh, structure this one you can see it's coming from the pulmonary trunk connected to uh, the aortic arch that's the uh, ligamentum uh, arteriosum in uh, the fetal uh, anatomy that is uh, actually a uh, patent no? artery which is one of uh, the vessels that will shunt blood from uh, the right side of uh, the heart immediately going uh, to the left no? going to the systemic uh, circulation it will actually bypass uh, the left uh, ventricle uh, because uh, we know that in the fetus no, whatever blood that enters uh, the right chambers of the heart it's already oxygenated coming from uh, the placenta so it can be pumped no? towards the uh, systemic circulation through the uh, ligamentum arteriosum. Oh, in the fetus, that is not called the uh, ligamentum uh, arteriosum. No? That artery is known as the uh, ductus arteriosus. It should close immediately, no? Uh, right after uh, birth then uh, let's uh, inspect no? the uh, in the inner aspect of the anterior chest wall we can see the uh, internal intercostal or uh, internal mammary uh, vessels right there no? on the right side and uh, right here on the left So let's uh, swing or uh, rotate our uh, specimen to show uh, the right side once again. So this one, that's the uh, internal mammary or uh, Internal thoracic artery. No? If uh, we trace going uh, from above, no, we can really see that uh, it's coming. No? The the blood vessel is coming from the uh, subclavian artery. Then right here, you can see it's uh, accompanying vein. It's vene comitantes. 